Hi hello everyone. In this video we are going to see about model axillaries. Model axillaries are axillary verbs that lend different shades of meaning to the main verb to which they are attached. Models help to express the mood or attitude of the speaker and convey ideas about possibility, probability, necessity, obligation, advisability and permission. Now let's see the types of model auxiliaries. Model auxiliaries are divided into two as models and semi-models. Models we have will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might. There are eight models. Next we are going to see about semi-models. Semi-models is also called as quasi-models or marginal models. They are for need, dare, ought to, and used to. There are four semi-models. Need, dare, ought to, used to. Now let's see one by one in this video. Now let's recall single word model auxiliaries. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would and must. Some phrasal model auxiliaries or semi-model auxiliaries they are ought to, used to, need and dare. The model auxiliaries include present tense and also past tense. For will, past tense is would and we can use used to in semi-model. For can, could is the past tense. Must, we can use have to in present tense or had to or must in past tense. Then may in present tense, might in past tense. Should or had better in present tense or should. We should not use should in uh, semi-models or to in semi-models. Should past tense is should only. The model auxiliary verbs or model verbs are also known as helping verbs. As the last name suggests, they help the main verb of the sentence. These model verbs help the main verb of the sentence. The auxiliary verbs and models help the main verb of the sentence. These are further divided into basic auxiliaries and models. Now let's see about basic auxiliaries. There are three forms. B forms, have forms and do forms. For B verb, am, is, was, were. Am, is for present tense, was, were for past tense. For have verbs, has, have, had for past tense, has, have for present tense. Do verbs, does is present tense and did is past tense. Let us take few examples. Rajas can sing. They may attend the party tonight. May I use your telephone please? Sheila says she will help me. Here can is the model auxiliary. Sing is the main verb. They is the model auxiliary. Attend is the main verb. May is the model auxiliary. Use is the main verb. Will is the model auxiliary. Help is the main verb. So the model helps the main verb. To stress the meaning. Before we begin our discussion on models and auxiliaries, we must keep in mind the following points. Model verbs take the same form in all persons. There is no yes ending in the third person singular. For example, Rajas can sing, not Rajas can sing. We should not write cans. Can sing only we have to write. The next point we have to see is the affirmative sentence is formed by putting the model verb between the subject and the main verb. So the model verb should be written between the subject and the main verb. Example, you should visit your grandmother. Should is the model here. Here, you is the subject. Visit is the main verb. So we had written, you should visit your grandmother. Let's see the third point. The negative is formed by putting NT or not after the main verb. For example, Rajesh can't sing. 
can sing we have seen no for can negative form can't we can write can't apostrophe t we have to write the next one when we use verbs of perception and thinking like see hear smell taste feel understand and remember we can use could could is used with these verbs even if the past situation is a specific situation so verbs of perception and thinking see hear smell taste feel understand and remember if we understand a sentence like that we can use could while referring to permission which one had got in the past time we use could and was where or allowed to for example when i was 10 i could go to school on bicycle so could represents the permission which we already got in the past time for negatives we use only couldn't or could not for ability in both general or specific situation so negative of could is couldn't or could not it represents general or ability ability in general or in specific situation example my grandmother couldn't write the manager couldn't remember all the names so couldn't is used as negative model verbs for permission can could may might be allowed to these are the model verbs for permission generally we use can could or may to ask permission for example can i borrow your pen so can is used here to ask permission while giving permission to someone can and may are used but not could and might example can i borrow your bicycle yes of course you can so can and may are used to give permission so let's now move to the next point in a conversation when a reference is made to a law or a rule that is for those things which are already permitted are not permitted then we can use can't or be not allowed to we can use can't for the permission that is already permitted or not permitted we can use can't that is according to the law or rule for example you can't or are not allowed to drink alcohol in gujarat in this example the speaker is not the one to give not give permission but he or she is referring to a law or rule made by the third party that is uh, for the speaker the law is already made so we can use can't next we are going to see about will will represents futurity intention and surety that is futurity edir kalam solvanga they will come tomorrow so will helps the main verb to stress the futurity intention i will score symptom in max so will score will score is the intention here i will marry her surety kandipa urudhiya appo solrappa will use pannu next will is used to show the willingness willingness prediction willingness means virupam i will take this suitcase for you i will take uh, he is willing to take the suitcase uh, then the next sentence prediction prediction means munnadiye nama solrathu predict pandrathu i think harini will be a great dancer here the speaker predicts that before knowing about harini he thinks that she will be a great dancer he is he is predicts he predicts so harini is a dancer like that he predicts so he uses will here will is also asked for asking permission or request will you lend me a hand will you we have to ask permission like that will you like that we can ask permission seeking questions that is will you type this letter will you அதாவது ஒரு ஒரு உதவி கேட்குறப்போ அப்போ வில் யூ டைப் திஸ் லெட்டர் லைக் தட் வி கேன் யூஸ் வில் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் வுட் வுட் ரெப்ரஸன்ஸ் ப்ராபபிலிட்டி தட் இஸ் வாய்ப் ஐ வுட் மீட் மை ஃப்ரெண்ட் இஃப் டைம் அக்கர்ஸ் ஐ வில் மீட் மை ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஸோ ஐ வுட் மீட் மை ஃப்ரெண்ட் 
then willingness willingness means willpower they would like to go home then choice when we have two things in that i could rather die than seeking this junk food here would that is represents choice next regular and habitual actions example raja ram would return home and read letters daily would return home so daily he will come home and uh, daily so habitual action so here we are using would then request by questioning when we are asking a question with the request we can use would would you mind moving a bit please move a bit like that we are saying that we can use question form would you mind moving a bit the next one is wishes i would like to thank her for her timely help so when we uh, would like to wish someone we can say i would like to thank like that we can use next would is also used for improbable condition improbable means nadakatha katpane anga vanda nama would use pannalam if i were a bird i would fly i would fly is improbable that is impossible condition we can use would then we can we are also using would in indirect speech for will past tense is would when a sentence have that immediately for we can change will to would vani said that she would go to delhi the week after vani said that she would go to delhi so in future she will go like that in direct speech we can use would next we are going to see the usage of shall shall represents futurity that is edirgal we shall meet our principal tomorrow permission or asking question shall i close the door for asking permission also we are using shall when we are asking for a suggestion we can use shall shall i apply for a bank loan when we have an intention a strong intention we can use shall i shall be punished for my misbehavior next we are going to see about should should about insistence obligation and advice insistence abdinna enta insist padra vali uttara you should come in your uniform here thus you are insisted should come like that obligation obligation means kadame children should obey their parents that is kadame nammude kadame appo nam enna use pandrom should advice they should have sold the house should is also used to prohibit someone or something then for expectation also we are using should prohibition you should not go there tadukkuradhu expectation should it rain the exam will be cancelled so we are expecting the exam to be cancelled so we are using here should should it rain the exam will be cancelled should is also used to represent duty and responsibility for duty you should attend the class regularly it is our duty to attend the class so here we are using should responsibility he should be in the office now he is a responsible person so he will he should be in office now next we are going to see about can can is used to uh, request can you help me in the work it is also used to ask permission you can go now to give permission ask permission we can use can then the capacity he can work hard and as i said to you i have the capacity irukku abbingra appo nam enna use pannalam can next we are going to see about could could is request by a question could you lend me your book likely could question that too could it be my uncle so could is also used to ask question and likely could in question type could also represents the ability or possibility or ability in past everything we can use could she could work long when she was young that is ability she could when she was young she could work long next is past ability if i were you that is improbable condition we can improbable or impossible condition we can use um 
could if i were you i could do it easily next we are going to see about this may may used to represents probability it may rain probability means wipe permission may i go home now wishes may god bless you expresses purpose learn that you may teach others to hear here uh, we are representing a purpose before you teach others you have to learn that is the to expressing purpose you can also use may next we are going to see about might might is also used to expression permission request and possibility uh, might i borrow your calculator this is rare only we are using might but we can use might also possibility it might rain tonight so it might rain so there is a wipe and mala varaku or wipe irukku abdinga appo nam enna use pannalam might vande use pannalam next gentle reproach when we are kandikirathu you might have told me earlier about it enak munnadiye sollirukkalamalla appdin solli nama kekkom illaya ya pa enak munnadiye sollirukkalamalla pa appdin solra pa might use pannalam indirect speech he said that it might rain so that he here indirect that represents the indirect may rain kulla nam enna use pannalam might rain appdin solli nama use pannalam next we are going to see is must must represents necessity you must recite this poem avasiyama ni padikinu obligation kadama i must help him then compulsion kattaya padrappo i must teach her a lesson kattayama avangalukku vande oru lesson teach pannuma abingirappa nam enna use pandrom must use pandrom next we are going to see is semi models semi model or quasi model verbs or verbs that functions as model verbs or main verbs for example had better ought to have to etc let's see how they are used in a sentence she had better leave now if she wants to catch the train so here had better uh, is the quasi model i ought to exercise regularly and eat healthy food here ought to is the quasi model now let's see habit of past that is used to when we want to say about our habit of past we have to use used to in quasi model once i used to play regularly that is once i used to play but not now like that we have to assume then need to is used to show the necessity you need to be here till evening it is necessity you must be here like that we have to say so at that time we use need to when necessity arises we use need to to represent quasi models he need not write the test today so need not is the quasi model here next challenge for the challenge we use dare how dare you oppose me how dare not talk to you like that we have to say dare is representing to mention challenge so when you want to challenge anyone how dare how dare you talk to me like this how dare you oppose me like this like that we can use dare in quasi model for strong obligation we use must in model but that too we can use ought to as moral obligation you must improve your handwriting it is must it is necessary it is strong so we are using must here moral obligation that is morally we have to oblige respect that at that time we have to use ought to in quasi models you ought to respect elders you ought to help the poor it is moral obligation morally we have to help the poor so at that time we use ought to thus we had seen model auxiliaries expressing some functions they are permission ability obligation prohibition lack of necessity advice possibility and probability now let's see the situation table for model verbs 
for request formal we use may informal you, we use can for formal may i sit down for informal can i sit down this is request when you make a polite request you can use could could i sit down or would would you mind if i sit down these are the request situation table we can use me can could and would the next one is obligation when we are in full obliged we can use must you must tell the police the truth when it is partial obligation we can use should you should tell your friends the truth when that is less partial partial you come here less common in that type we can use or to you or to tell your friends the truth this is semi model when we can use con, uh, conclusions as stronger than should we can use must that is logical conclusion stronger than should we can use must he left an hour ago so he must be there already when the conclusion is weaker instead of should we can use must he left half an hour ago i believe he should be there already for stronger conclusion we use must for weaker we use should then for possibility in general we can use can it can rain sometimes so we can possibility so we can use can then possibility weaker than may or might we can use could it could rain but it is not very common in the part of the country so when the possibility is weaker we can use could when the possibility is weaker than may we can use might when the possibility is weaker than might we can use may so when the according to the possibility we can use can could might and may for the situation that is weaker or stronger we can use can or could may or might to represent future action state intention we use will look at the sky it will rain soon so that is in future it will rain so it is an action intention that it will rain so at that time we can use will will is will represents future the next one we are going to see is right polite request in for polite request we can use would or could would you open the door please for that is a request then for permission we can use may can and could may borrow your pen may we can use for permission can i borrow your pen could i borrow your pen like that we can ask permission to express what you want i would like i would like to learn english free for preference would rather can be used i would rather walk than drive would rather like that we can use for preference instead of driving i would rather walk for obligation that is legal or official or logical we can use must police officer you must wear a seat belt it is must so it is official it is legal for logical the teacher is absent she must be sick the teacher is absent she must be sick it is a logical sentence we can use must so for obligation which is legal official or logical we can use must there is a sort table for you if a sentence shows the ability we can use can or could if it shows possibility we can use can could may might and would if it is an advice we can use should or ought to for quasi modal if it is a permission we can use can and may if it is a request we can use can could may might will would if it is obligation we must use shall should must or do if it is a suggestion we can use could might shall should if it is an intention we can use will or shall 